You can try and kill a dreamer, but you can't kill the dream. I feel like a king and I rule myself. That's a phrase Khan for you. And I'm here and I'm creating something interesting that's human connection. And we're talking today something you to do with the human bond. A human bond is something which involves a real you, a true potential, what you have, an honest human bond. Where neither party expects anything out of anybody, no matter you have a strength or your weaknesses. So it just that goes with the flow. Now we in our life, we appreciate things in life. But when things come easy, we don't take them as great appreciation. But when things come with difficulties, that's the time when we count on them. And then that's the time when we respect it. So guys, today we talk about human connection and we don't work on these areas, which is really a concern area because these areas are something which will connect us and which will take us for a long personal growth. And the truth behind this is, we want to be human connectors. That's Safras Khan, that's Team Eager, and have a live topic. I had a live webinar on the same, and I'm creating a web, uh, web the same. So I just want to hit this, and let's get started. And I welcome each and everyone who's hearing me. Thanks for your time and effort to hear me out. So find me. Now, something, life is, you can't live in isolation. The quality of life, if you want to live, you need to live with people. You have to survive with people. That's the only way a human race can survive. And a personal growth can evolution and highly depends how we connect with our fellow humans. So guys, we are a species. Today we are in a world where we have major, major platforms. Social animals cannot survive, cannot stay away from groups of friends and association with communities. More no matter what you are into. But today we all connected on the social platforms. Connection means we are bringing infinite rewards for ourselves. So if you are making connections and you are being an entire being of yourself, especially you grow with your brains, you, you flourish with your information, plus you are staying socially and you are physically active. So that's a good news that the latest studies show that if you are going to be physically active, you are going to live longer and you are going to have a happier life. So guys, this is all about not being connected to the same old crowd which you have been basically going out on your bicycle, taking up rides, or the same old gym friends. And like, You have to get out of the group and you have to make new connections. You have to get outside. You need to go and discover a new world. So that's the connection. That's the brain which needs to get on the alert area. So guys, so this is where we need to work on because we as networkers, we have to really get ourselves strong on the human connects as this connection of community can only become in a very good way when we can connect it and that energy has to come evolving with honesty whenever we socialize culturally or spirituality so guys we need to make those connects and we need to make those impressions and we need to stay forever so that's a very important factor for human benefits because we are basically regulated and we are encouraged Whatever we get is something what life gives us. See now, if you're in your old group, you don't get all these kind of feedbacks. We need feedbacks. How are we doing in life? Like if I go through a different facial gesture, you know, different expression of life, we have different gestures, you know, where we connect with new people. So that's the time when we put up a <coughs> facial expression, when we raise up, we put up a voice tone. So we know and we realize the kind of feedback what we get out of people is we come to know that they're not going to be sweethearts to us. They're going to be the real honest, you know, critics who will give you the feedback that what needs to be taken care at your area of concerns. So guys, we are here to understand why we have to create that kind of relationship and that approach with confidence and sincerity. So before moving forward, I always talk about first impression that matters a lot with longevity because if people like you, they feel natural <coughs> and comfortable around you. So if this is the mantra, you have it with you. So the process is going to be much more simpler and you can have in different forms. You can meet up and make things to look better at your first impression. So whenever we go up, we <coughs> have different areas of connections. You know, so these areas of connection can be like sometimes we meet people by chance. Like if you're traveling a train and we like cricket and we have a discussion. So we create a rapid uh, uh, 
you know kind of a connect with the person and the and the choice of connect was because of the common factor of the game so that's how it is you know when we have been introduced to our family members in a wedding and we meet another unknown person so that is connected through the human person of connect that is through relationship so these are some relationship what we build up so no matter where you meet people your first impression your first impression matters a lot so if you make the right impression during the first few seconds that's what the all authors books whatever i read in life they always make this thing that you need to create an awareness that you are a sincere person you need to show them that you're a safe person and you're a trustworthy person so this will only come when you have the integrity and you do it with your heart and your soul so your greeting is a process and your greeting is a consistent factor which means that you do an eye to eye contact okay there's no way out of it if you meet a person <coughs> i would say you pronounce his name hey hi safraz nice to meet you and when when you speak with confidence your greeting has an attitude you have a nice body language and the right first impression creates the awareness of your safety and your trustworthiness so guys this is the time when you really need to work on these areas possibly this attitude is positive that is been transformed to the other person and your heart is definitely going to connect with your handshake because when you meet people meet them with your heart meet them with your open arms don't meet them with your close you know your close heart and your close <coughs> hands because that's not a right impression so whenever you meet people meet them with the positive attitude <coughs> and always create real contact guys eye to eye contact is a real contact and this is something which creates a nice attention a nice body language and it creates a nice impression about you so point your heart to other people and say hello and light up your eyes and smile after giving a bright warm smile the next step is to say hi hello and just go on with the conversation whatever you are basically representing for instance <clears throat> i would always like if i always know the person's name and i say hi jimmy how are you so it's like you know we can always create that when you pronounce a person name the conversation creates a nice weightage and you extend the hand you show the willingness of you know your openness and all this areas of happiness is given forward to the people so this is something which you fix up in all conversations because this is something where you need to come with proper gesture a proper attitude and a proper instance of happiness and that will only happen when you start meeting people with your heart and you start treating people with integrity so guys this is one area where i think we need to work on it there's a nice longevity to it and if you think you have any questions on that you can get in connect with me so rapport is something rapo <coughs> sorry for my coffee yeah. so when you synchronize the interests so that's something which is very important guys a rap a, rep, a rapo has to be built without this rap a repo you cannot create any avenue you cannot make sales you cannot get a date you can't get a you know you can't get anything in life it's very important if you know if a girl wants who likes you she has to see the common ground a comfort zone even with anything even if it's a business it's a um, family relationship whatever areas of life you need to create the mentality where you can join together it allows social exchange it flows smoothly so guys you need to establish this this is very important a positive acceptance which responds with many words so signaling when you signal shows that you have that attention area of trusting the rapo can naturally come and there is no clue which needs to be taken on that conversation it just happens it just comes with a click and you feel and you get into the flow because those areas of circumstances are the areas of your comfort <clears throat> for instance uh, if i'm traveling like for instance if i'm traveling abroad and nobody speaks my language and i'm in thailand and suddenly i see a fellow friend who's from mumbai and he also is uh, having a holiday and when we meet him we have a lovely time to spend we speak our language and we feel good and we feel energetic and we make fun out of uh, the local things and more more moreover we just enjoy whatever we have a conversation and that's the rapo so that happens not very frequently it happens once in a way when we can have out of one of uh, out of 100 one of the chances where we can have a conversation of that and the rapo is built up but to create a synchronization we need to have something where we need to create the common factors and we have to work on these areas and we need to adapt establishment of connections so that will come with the right design of ideas and how do you work on with people and what are the kind of strategies you work on so that is something which helps so synchronization is something we just have to get you know 
get moved on with the same ideology, the same wavelength, the same, you know, you need to pick up the same feeling. It's like a mirror effect, you know. <clears throat> when two people synchronize, it's like an illusion. It's deeply rated in a person's heart. So guys, to achieve the mirror effect, the person's movement, the breathing patterns, the expressions, all these things such as the voice and how he's talking, the confidence, so you, you raise your bar at the same level. So you create the same energy at the table. So your body language, your mannerism, your synchronization of body language is matching and it's mirroring and it's making the conversation go to the core values of the other person. So if, <clears throat> for instance, if, you move, if the other person is moving the left hand, you move your left hand, you move, you imitate. But don't show that you're doing it too much. You know, don't be a total duplicate, uh, a copycat or something, but just show that the synchronization is happening. It's just moving the same wavelength. You're just feeling the same energy into that same table. So this is something which is very good. And at the same time, we need to have a good conversation. The, so the word listen contains the same letters as the word silent, which we normally forget. So having a good conversation, not all talk, it's listening to guys. So this is very important that if you introduce yourself, you become, you, you synchronize with people, you feel confident, you wrap up the build is there. The next con the next thing is you start a lovely conversation. Conversation is vital to build the wrap up. It's basically the bond and the friendship guys. So it is something which is going to be making a lot of sense. And your aim is at the earliest stages of your conversation, search the common interest using small talks. And once you find the common with the other person, you can start asking open questions. Fuel your conversation. Let him speak more. Let him have the whys, when, what, how, where. So this will keep the table and you let the other person open up the conversation and you become a good listener. So if you are basically inviting an explanation or an opinion, feeling, and you establish that kind of you know, energy on the table, it's basically going to make a lot of sense and it's going to keep the vital strength of the table. So guys, so be a good listeners. And the problem is that if we don't be good listeners, we will basically lose the plot and we do not get the response what we are looking for. So these are some etiquettes of manners which have been understood by major, you know, senior professionals all over the world. And this is an area where we need to get ourselves going with the best of our ability to improvise on that. And then we move forward as be sure when you put your feet in in the right place then stand firm so whatever you talk is something with uh, you know with the audacity of you can you know a lot of people have you know just um, do something and they have the audacity to just you know just you know pull themselves off that's not the right uh, mantra of success what you want is with the best attitude to get it so your attitude has to be honest it has to be an influencer your body language has the same system when you influence each other that's happy feeling, that's happy words, and that's happy sound. So this attitude is full of quality and the mood is put up with the right tone, the words, and importantly, your facial and your body language is moving in the right system of uh, the, t the ideology of mixing up. Particularly the attitude is a very, uh, you know, conscious control signal of a body that sends out. So the body has a mind and its own. So it's not something which you can take it off. It's your own mind. So it's, you know, it play patterns of behavior when you associate it with your attitude and exhibiting over it. So when you're really making an attitude, be useful of your attitude. Useless attitude, I don't think guys can make any sense. So when you meet someone for the first time or you give any real useless attitude to anyone as an anger, impatient or boredom or chicanize or you're something what you give to people so you don't use you're basically showing that you're not a accepted person you're not a person who can uh, be you know taken on a conversation so that attitude is something which will not engage the person and that will leave a negative impression guys so this is most of the time when we get and we lose things so whatever we want to do in life no matter what we want to live as a quality of attitude has to be there in our life and a useless attitude is not something which we need to work on our main factor is work on the likability of the attitude for to show people the likability that we are open and we are here to talk things which with open heart and willingness and speak the volume before you even open your mouth so always know what you speak and don't get that useless attitude of yours because that's something if you automatically have that thing in you you need to change it and because the, if you don't change that you will not achieve any of your goals in life so guys get that thing going and get yourself on those areas and ask yourself what do i 
one right now at this moment with the right attitude which will serve me in the best way of my life so these are some human connections human areas of ideology with the right set of qualities and moods and thoughts and process and voices and so guys human social animals we all are and i love we all want to be connected we all want to get the right connect we all want to have the best of connects in our life so if we want to do the best of connects in our life we need to always stay with the right uh, in a social um, media of connects whether we are on facebook or instagram whatever all connects are connects the human connect today it may be a technology connect <coughs> or it can be any area of connect guys so the connect is very important because the kind of business we are into we need those connects so see things that you want as already yours know that they will come to you at need then let them come don't fret and worry about them so don't think about your lack of them think of them as yours as your belongings and already you possess them so already have in possession the things what you want to do in life and you already have that possess that and you will see that you have everything you have always wanted for guys so work on these areas i safraz khan i am a person who likes to talk about conversation communications and human connect so this was a subject of an area where i think my team and my people i mean uh, with every area every networker who is looking for his team to build up in the right segment of ideology this is something what you need to go on and build yourself so guys make this big make this large i a team eagle safraz khan from mumbai nst global is the pioneering stage and i'm a founder member for them and i'm looking at a real strong attitude people so guys if you think i make sense i make i make a connect with you guys and you think i am open with you for a conversation please get in touch with me you can engage and we can do a lot together god bless take care jai hind allah